Hi, welcome to Astrology for Gain Traders. My name's Olga Morales. I want to thank all of you who have been writing to me regarding my videos. I really appreciate the feedback. And for all you Gain junkies, I know there's a lot of you out there, here is another hit. Um, again, some slides from my Wizard of Wall Street, and also I'm going to just do a bit of extra commentary. So let's have it, let's, let's start. This is a chart that comes with um, GAN's commodity course from Lambert GAN in its original state. This is actually a photocopy, but um, GAN has written here May soybeans. And this is when I saw this chart, another one of those ones that I got very excited about because it's got astrological symbols in there, and that's what I want to see, of course. So here we have uh, the symbol of, of uh, Jupiter. And then he has a line across here. Basically, it's the um, is plotting the longitude of Jupiter on this price chart. And then the next one, so that's Jupiter there. And here you can see he's written Jupiter 30 Sagittarius. So that's its longitude. Then we see another symbol in here, which is Mars. And again, he's plotted a Mars Mars traveling through the zodiac in that period. And we've got a its um, planetary line there. And that's basically when they intersected at this point, there was um, the price started to reverse here and go down. So this is what we want to be interested in. This is what was the most fascinating thing for me when I saw how is it possible that planets can actually um, influence price. That was like the most amazing revelation that I could ever think of and what I could do with it. So let's have a look. That's Mars again. Let's have a look at it. when you um, plot those planetary lines on a graphic ephemeris for that period, which was 1948, you can see what was happening. This is Mars, and then you've got Jupiter, and you've got Uranus going pretty straight there. And where they all sort of clustered together, that was actually the high in the soybeans on the previous chart. So let's do it on a uh, traditional astrological chart. We can see that the high came in at 276 and that was on November 23, 1948. So you can see what here so clearly. You can see that Mars and Jupiter are almost conjunct, so it's moving to a conjunction. But then across the dial, you can see that Uranus is there. So that um, opposition was what we're seeing on the chart and actually stopped um, the prices going any further. Um, and then the other thing that's really important in that chart is uh, um, Jupiter trine, Saturn forming a trine, it's waxing trine. That again is an important factor to look at. So when you see, when you're analysing um, prices and charts and, and past activity in markets, you need to be looking at the main structures within the actual um Days and then again, what you want to do into the future is see when these combinations happen again and what the market does. That's part two of this presentation, and that is Saturn there. Okay, this is part two of my presentation on GAN's um, May soybeans. What I've done here is actually um, got some more current data starting from 1960, but it's on soybean spot. And basically all these vertical lines that are on the chart at the moment are aspects that um, I have found to be quite important in beans. And basically the more of them you see lining up together, the more likelihood of major changes in the um, market direction. So also what I love to do is, of course, I want to replicate what GAM was doing. I'm going to put the planetary lines on the chart. Now, I know that looks really messy because there's a lot of stuff happening on one chart. But what I'm going to do is just highlight some of these more important areas so you can see what is happening. Now, this is let's have a look at 1973. Let's have a look at this particular one here. You can see the red and the blue lines intersecting there. The red line is Mars. That's exactly the same as what Gan had on this chart. And the blue line is Jupiter. Now let's have a look what is actually happening on, around there. If I just have a look up here, you can see that they're conjunct in Aquarius. So they're together, together again like they were in 1948 in a different sign, but they're together. And that's what we want to see. Okay, 
so that is one thing isn't it amazing though this point is actually a low and it's pulling right up into that period now let's have a look at next time it actually is they come together again as a conjunction another low if you keep doing it you'll actually see that their conjunction often um, brings in lows so you can stay to like at the beginning of the cycle and from that point we start moving up so there's another low here keep going we've got one two three lows remembering I'm using geocentric here geocentric um, meaning that we get these retrograde periods so we get repeat of patterns and you can see how important it is to be using geocentric if we we're using heliocentric you would just get fairly much straight lines okay so when you see these little curves you know the planets are going retrograde and direct and they are really important in research and understanding what happens with the uh, prices so again those t three times we got um, bottoms or lows so let's go to the next one you can keep going here's another low um, and so basically that's when I want to research anything I do I spend quite a bit of time finding these repeating patterns uh, obviously it can take a lot of time uh, software does help um, but if you don't you need an ephemeris and you've got to search back when all these things were happening um, and it does take a lot of time but that time is an investment in um, obviously knowing when to trade and when not, when not to trade if other uh, other tools you use are also giving you signals and then you have some uh, indication from these aspects um, you've got a, a really important way of a really exciting way to start forecasting here's another low when they were conjunct so I keep going um, and you can just see every time they intersect we get these um, bottoms okay the next one will be here and that's around um, April of 2011 but what is interesting um, um, is actually looking at price when that stops at certain points like here you can see these two lines intersecting and that's actually Saturn um, coming conjunct to uh, sorry Mars coming conjunct to Saturn you can see that pretty much um, stop price there so you need to be looking at plotting them on your charts actually gives you a lot of information instead of you searching without having the price chart with you just to have quickly put it on top and you can see what's happening now the uh, amazing thing about that I sort of thought to myself why would it be that every time um, the Jupiter and Mars are together something's very important for beans and what I went what I did actually was just have a look Gan always talks about the all-time low in beans um, which was on the 28th of December 1932 if you have a look you can see that Mars and Jupiter are actually in a, a um, conjunction you know applying conjunction so it's five degrees of separation but still there's that um, two a synodic cycle already you can see is very important in um, in the beans for soybeans so you know you need to when you're researching you've got to put a, a bit of work into it and just having a look at all these um, aspects in the past so um, that's what I there's another low there yeah, the, the amazing thing is as soon as it makes its low up into that it, it, it just takes off the beans take off so every it's got a very high actually I can do a statistical analysis on it and we'll just have a look so um, if you can see here that I've put um, the Jupiter um, Mars conjunct Jupiter and it's just going to do a um, statistical analysis on that aspect in the past and what it has done and then you can basically start building your case um, for what to expect in the future so I'll just let it do what it does and we'll get an answer fairly shortly okay so what's it saying it's saying that you should be short 13 days before uh, essentially it's 80 percent down so it basically bring comes down into that period so it is a low 80% of times it has been a low in the past uh, 20 
out of five times in the past it has uh, brought in a low so there you go it's amazing what you can do with astrology and uh, the markets I hope you've enjoyed that and stay tuned for the next hit when I get inspired or if you have a request send me something see you for now bye